With the introduction of Gunfight in Modern Warfare 2019, this was arguably Call of Duty's most competitively balanced game mode ever created. Every map was relatively symmetrical and both teams had the exact same loadout, so it was literally the perfect competitive environment to test your skills. With Black Ops Cold War taking it a step further in introducing weapon blueprints for winning gunfight tournaments, it was easily one of the most fun and replayable game modes Call of Duty has ever had. So the question is, will we see gunfight tournaments return in Black Ops 6, and how could they make them even better? Gunfight tournaments are so popular in Black Ops Cold War that four years later, you can still jump on and queue into matches and find a full tournament bracket, at least here in North America. So with Treyarch on deck for Black Ops 6 and the beta already having the gunfight game mode and numerous maps, I really hope Treyarch brings this game mode back. With Call of Duty being a relatively arcade shooter with a very loose competitive balance, it's nice to have a game mode that completely takes out all the luck, all of the RNG, and is perfectly fair. Even in ranked with all the limitations on your weapon and create a class, it's still not super balanced. I also want to talk about bringing back a feature from Black Ops 2, but we'll get to that later in the video. With progression all but being removed in Call of Duty ever since Modern Warfare 2019 essentially ruined the franchise, at least Call of Duty as I knew it, the gunfight tournaments were the one last form of progression in the game. Now, not just the fact that you could literally see your team progress towards winning the entire tournament as you won each match, but the fact that every season Treyarch added in a blueprint reward that you can earn earn only by winning the gunfight tournament. Being able to keep winning tournaments over and over again until you unlocked them all was one of the most fun and rewarding parts of the game. We used to get all kinds of cosmetic rewards for grinding the game and completing challenges, but nowadays everything but the mastery camo is just in the store for purchase. Which if you think about it, why are there so few earnable cosmetics in a game that I paid $70 for? Sure, I get having paid skins in Warzone and even having other options in the store for the premium release, but to have literally nothing to grind for except calling cards? and an account level that resets every season just feels bad. Now most of you are probably relatively familiar with the gunfight game mode, so I want to spend the rest of this video going through my wish list and what I'd like to see them add to the mode and how they could make it insanely fun. As I go through my wish list for this game mode, let me know if you think any of these ideas should be added to the game, or if you have any ideas yourself, drop them in the comments. The first thing I think they absolutely have to address is the loadouts they give you. Now I'm fine with almost everything except for two types of loadouts. Number one, sniper loadouts. I actually really love having snipers in gunfight but if they're going to give us snipers, it would be way more fun to just remove secondary weapons entirely on that loadout, requiring people to actually use the sniper. The amount of times I've had a sniper and someone just ran at me with an SMG or a shotgun, well, it gets old, and they have no problem limiting your loadout when it comes to dual-wield pistols. If you don't remember, when your loadout has dual-wield pistols equipped, you only have fists as a secondary, and that's how it should be for snipers. Which leads me to my next point, please get rid of dual-wield pistols. I know it seems cool, but it's extremely frustrating to not have control over where your bullets go because you're forced to just spray and pray with the hip fire. Next, I think it would be super cool to be able to jump into an ongoing match as like a codcaster or be able to spectate the rest of the rounds in the tournament once you've won or lost your match. Let's say you get beat by a content creator or someone that you think is cheating, it would be cool to be able to watch the rest of their matches. Or if you absolutely crush your match and finish before any other team is ready for you to queue up, it'd be cool to just jump in and spectate what you're up against in the next match. And you need a timer feature on screen just so you know that you're about to get kicked back to the lobby to get ready to queue up for the next match. Now, I'm sure there's a risk of someone being able to abuse this to their advantage, but if Treyarch could find a way to make this work, I think it would be a really cool feature. The next thing I'd like to see Black Ops 6 do with the gunfight tournaments is allow us to have access to creating tournaments and private matches with a code for people to join. This would be awesome for streamers and content creators to be able to host community tournaments, especially paired with being able to spectate matches in the tournament. Streamers could essentially just host the tournament and then jump in and out of different matches commentating and it would just be great for content. It would also be really cool to see organizations and tournament sites be able to host tournaments with prizes. Imagine if FaZe Clan hosted a custom tournament bracket where each member of FaZe gets paired up with with like a channel subscriber or something that would be insanely cool to watch or participate in and would maybe even help give some exposure to smaller creators or streamers who want to engage with their community not to mention it would probably lead to some hilarious videos and take it a step further give the tournament host complete control over things like loadout selections player health round timer and maps the opportunities here are really just endless which leads me to another idea for gunfight tournaments the last feature i'd like to see added to the game mode is the return of wager matches from black ops 2. now i highly highly doubt that Activision is going to allow people to wager or earn COD points at this point, but being able to wager some sort of other earnable currency that you could use to unlock exclusive cosmetics in the barracks just like we had in Cold War with the Prestige Shop. Again, the possibilities here are endless, and 
I would probably never stop playing tournaments if I always have something to play for. Having some stakes in the game would just add to the competitive nature of the tournament bracket format. I highly doubt we'll ever get something like a ranked game mode for gunfight, so this is probably the next best option. I think Activision has this idea that the average Call of Duty player is some dumb, tired couch potato who gets off the game at the sight of even the smallest challenge. Yeah, they don't give you guys a lot of credit. They obviously think that because they have an entire matchmaking system designed to keep you on the game as long as possible. And I'm sure they have the data or something that tells them that, but I think there are a lot of people that maybe don't want to fully sweat it out and ranked, but they want some form of competition, something to play for besides getting two UAVs, maybe a sentry turret, and a win. A lot of casual players are on multiplayer games to scratch that competitive itch, and if you're looking for a method to improve any first-person shooter game, watch this video.